I mean, obviously, there are a lot of problems with what China is doing uh, in regulating investment and intellectual property and some of its uh, government uh, ownership of businesses. But I, I think, in the end, it's very important for the two sides to figure out a way to do business with each other. For the U.S., we've, we've said all along that the U.S. needs to rally uh, the rest of the world to its side in pushing China in the right direction. Uh, the problem with this tit-for-tat retaliation is it puts China immediately in a defensive posture. Uh, it alienates the U.S. from the rest of its trading partners and, I think, makes it harder for the U.S. to use the kind of moral suasion that we could use if we, if we pressured them through uh, the WTO and international negotiations. I don't think tit-for-tat retaliation in the end is going to resolve the problem, and it is going to cost both uh, countries a lot in terms of uh, economic activity. So, Ambassador, we understand that you don't think this is the right way to go about things, even if perhaps China hasn't always played by the rules when it comes to intellectual property, which was at least some of the impetus for us to get going. But here we are. We have these tariffs that have been instituted between the U.S. and China and likely more to come in the coming weeks. So what can companies and then ultimately consumers do about it? How long does it take all of us to absorb this new price action? Yeah, the, the biggest danger is that uh, the, the, the disputes don't get resolved and those tariffs become a permanent feature. And then that begins to affect uh, investment decisions. And, and uh, the, the risk for the U.S. is that uh, companies will decide <clears throat> that they should move to uh, their production to places that don't have this dispute with China. Uh, or sh sh certainly shift some of their supply chains to, to other markets. Um, you know, there's not a lot you can do in the short term because you have to see how this uh, uh, matter is going to resolve itself and these investment decisions play out over a longer period of time. Uh, but in the long run, it, it does, tariffs have a distorting effect on, on investment. They're, they're a form of government intervention that are going to uh, create some uh, unintended consequences. Uh, I think for both the U.S. and China. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.